for seeing us through yesterday in peace and in calm. The Ghanaian people exhibited great maturity yesterday in voting in a peaceful and orderly manner. They have enhanced the reputation of our country. We are waiting for the official confirmation of the results of the vote that took place yesterday. We've just heard from the, elect the chairperson of the Electoral Commission that she needs more time to be able to complete her work. I think all of us are duty bound to support her and give her that time so that we have a pronouncement that is devoid of controversy and of difficulty. We in the MPP are quietly confident that we have won a famous and historic victory. By our tally, we've won 49 extra seats in the parliament. We believe we've also won the main contest, the presidential. But we will await the Electoral Commission to give us the formal, final details of both. I want to appeal through you, members of the media, to the Ghanaian public, first of all to members of my party, and then to the wider Ghanaian population, that this is a time where we all have to remain very calm and very focused. The eyes of the world are on us. And it is important that we behave as Ghanaians, as people who understand their own self-worth and their dignity. It's going to be an anxious time, I know, until the results are formally de declared. But we have been through this before, and we should be able to go through it again. If, as we believe, the country has voted for a new direction and a, a change in the government of our country. I promise you that that change is going to mean that very soon new policies are going to be put in place that is going to lift the Ghanaian economy upwards, create jobs, and begin to bring prosperity to our country. That is our main task, and it's a task that we're going to take with 100% seriousness. There's an excellent team waiting to assume control of Ghana that is going to work tirelessly to bring about prosperity and progress to our country. For that to happen, we need the support of everybody, all Ghanaians no matter their political persuasion, wherever they come from, we have all to put our energies together to move the Ghanaian project forward. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank the majority of my competitors who have already expressed warm words of congratulation to me. I appreciate it very much. The words from Mr. Iver Greenstreet, from Nana Konedu Ajiman Rawlings, our former First Lady, Dr. Papa Kwesi Indo, Dr. Mahama, and also Jacob Oseyabu. I thank them. Thank them for their service to our country. And I know that all of them are going to be part of what we're going to do to bring progress and prosperity to the community. There's going to come a time for me to thank all, so many people, members of my party, from top to bottom, who put their shoulders to the wheel and helped us achieve this great victory. 
The time will come for that to happen. The time will come also for me to pay a special tribute to my family, my children, my daughters, my brother and sister, and above all, to my helpmate, my beloved Rebecca. to concluding in terms of the thanks. There is a young man who has joined his destiny to mine and who has proved to be a most invaluable helpmate to me. And there's nothing that I'm doing in my political career today that I do not share my thoughts and feelings with him got to where I have, and I have no doubt that he's an important part of the reason for the success that we obtained yesterday. And that is my running mate, Muhammad Ubaoumi. One of the revelations of this campaign has been his dynamic, eloquent wife, Samira. And I will have also a So thank you very much. Stay calm. Radio, television, let's wait for the formal announcement of what we have done together. And then we can begin to move Ghana forward to a higher level.